<laughs> All right, what is up, my friends? What is up? What is up? Welcome. A little charity? Cubed. Thanks, Cubed. We are playing a sort of a pseudo donation bonus league. This was a, this was a prize for uh, the Survivor Football League we did. We had 72 players for our Survivor Football pool. For those who don't know what that is, basically every week you just pick one team to win. If they lose, you're out. Can't pick the same team twice. And um, we had 72 total players. The entire league was knocked out in week three, except for two players, Cryo MTG and Cannon Spectacle. Cryo MTG took down the win in week like seven or something. And part of Cryo's prize was not only a BCW Supplies Z Folio binder. Check it out, BCW. Huge thanks to my sponsor for supplying the prize for this. This is the exact binder that my standard collection is in. Like for real, like, I'm not kidding. It's literally, it's literally right here. This thing has been across the country, maybe 40 times over the last few years. These things are awesome. And uh, Cryo won one of those, and he also won a free donation bonus league. So, what did Cryo submit to us? Oh boy. Oh boy. Gruel Legacy Food Chain Squee. That's a lot of threes. That's a lot of threes. No ones either. At this point, we're a Chalice deck. So we are, what are we here? We are essentially a Chalice of the Void Blood Moon deck. We got Chalice of the Void. We got Blood Moon. We got Magus of the Moon. We got our Ancient Tombs and City of Traders and Spirit Guides and Chrome Moxes, yada, yada, yada. But we're not going to try and kill our opponent with like Hazard or Chandra or some card like that. We got Squee. And why do we have Squee? Because we have the card Food Chain. This is a card, uh, kind of a good combo card. Played in Goblins at some times in older formats. It's an enchantment that says you can exile a creature you control and add X mana of any one color where X is that, ma that creature's mana cost plus one. And you can only use this mana to cast creature spells. So with Squee, you know, you can carry the one here and do the math and uh, that's infinite mana. So you exile Squee, get four mana, cast Squee, exile Squee, get four mana. Once you have infinite mana, our win condition is going to be Imperial Recruiter for a Walking Blossom, and then infinite damage. We can also cast Living Wish to our sideboard and find an Emrakul to Aeon's Torn. And uh, also on our sideboard is a copy of Eternal Scourge, which is um, essentially the same thing as Squee for the purposes of the combo, where we can sacrifice it for four mana, cast it for three, and so on and so forth. So, interesting amalgamation here of a combo deck and a prison deck. Um, a lot of fast mana, we have Trinospheres, we have Blood Moons. So this is gonna be a wild one. Cyborg's got some wish targets and some ley lines and a braids and stuff, you know, the usual stuff. Deck looks sweet, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, let's just battle. Let's jump right in here to our competitive Legacy League. Hopefully folks are uh, playing Legacy today and not just doing a Vintage Cube. We're doing Vintage Cube a little bit later. God, I wish these lights would blink, you know? I want to see some blinking lights. Let's go. Let's go. This is Nilla. This deck is dumb. X dumb and I love it. This is Nilla. Lucky 13 months in a row. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. If you're sitting here, welcome. Make sure you follow the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there for um, all the fantastic comment, comment, content. Um, also, hop on to CoolStuffInc.com and check out my article for this week. Um, I think this one's pretty important. Uh, not that all my articles aren't important, but this one's all about Magic Arena, esports, and the future. And I think this is really, really big. Um, I think that Arena is huge. I played a tournament last this week, the Twitch Rivals tournament, um, for $10,000 that was not run by any Magic entity, which is incredible. Arena's still in beta. We're not there yet, but um, it's going to be... It's awesome. I think Arena is... I think 2019 is going to be perhaps the best year in the history of Magic. And this article t says why. So hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com, check it out. And of course you can do your shopping there too. And use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order. What's up, Rule? Welcome, my friend. Yes, best of three rank. Uh, a lot of things that, there's a lot, a lot of things that need to be done in Arena, and the article addresses them. The, um, it's kind of formatted as the good, the bad, and the future. And the bad section is fairly long. But the, the main thing is that Arena is very fun to play, and a lot of things that are wrong with it are things that are pretty easy to fix. Get best of three working. Fix the ladder. Get challenges working better. 
and implement implement tor tournament modes and spectator modes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, so now this is the fear a little bit. So we have Squee and Food Chain. We have our combo. We have infinite mana. Nothing to really do with it yet, though. So we're on the play, and we do have turn two Magus the Moon. We're gonna keep. Obviously, we have like eight cards in our deck that um. Actually, turn two Magus the Moon turns off our green. Mm, that's kind of a an issue. Because we gotta fetch a forest, we can't go forest city traders Magus the Moon. Interesting. I just don't think we can mulligan this hand. It just has our combo. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Let's go. Opponent Mulligan's five. Good start. Good start. We should go Misty Go. And they're going to think we're playing a Brainstorm, Force of Will, whatever deck. Little do they know the contents of our hand. Hey. Okay. Okay, that also plays. Um, hmm. I think I'm fine just playing City Chalice here. They don't want to waste my city, it's fine. I don't really mind. I don't want this Taiga wasted. So, yeah, it's fun. Two cities is fine. My solution for the best of three problem on Arena, as written in the article, is to make the ladder best of one. Run of a ladder is bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, mythic. It stays best of one until you hit diamond, and then it changes over to best of three. So at that point, players already have strong collections, likely. So they're not trying to just grind single games. They're also likely more competitive. And... That's a, if we're going to have the ladder actually lead to things in Magic, as far as comp competition goes, I think having Diamond and Mythic be best of three is the perfect way to, you build up to that, and then you play the competitive stuff. What's up, Dragon? Check out my video on Monday for the best possible um, starter deck on Arena. The cheapest deck to build that's also competitive. <clears throat> so, our point of point of Wasteland. We have no idea what we're doing. We're going to resubmit. Legacy's fun. Playing Legacy forever. I think also with Arena, um, I think that Magic Online s s continues to exist because it's the way you can play Vintage and Legacy pretty cheaply. So. All right. I mean, Pupon and Mulligans again, we're going to keep. We have Turn 1 Chalice on 1. We have Trinosphere. Turn 1 Trinosphere if you want it. But let me chalice first. Like, they're probably a brainstorm deck. I played chalice, and they, they just didn't play a land that scooped. They also mulligan to five. They mulligan to five both games here. Island, ponder. Monkey guide, elf guide, monkey guide, elf guide. I don't think they're going to have days, given that they fetched an island, but it would be funny if they had days. What are, your, what are everyone th everyone's thoughts on my proposed change to best of one? Bolt time. Best of one until dime uh, on arena ladder. Best of one until diamond then switches to best of three for diamond and mythic. Good idea or bad idea? 
Poll 60. Cast your vote in chat. Is my idea of making the arena the ladder on arena best of one until diamond, then best of three a good idea or a bad idea? Type in good or bad in chat. Talk to me. Another ancient tomb. And feel free to say why as well. Do a little market research here on the stream. All right, I mean, Chalice and Trinisphere. They could be like a Miracles deck. They could be Sneak and Show. I don't really know what they're doing here. We don't really have much either, so. Wasteland. Please wasteland me. Please. Thank you. Uh, CJM, I would board the fourth Chupacabra. Spirit guide. 28 bads and f goods and four bads. I like it. Uh, we whiffed. That's not good. Okay. All those cards in the graveyard and probably start casting spirit guides next turn. The another option, of course, is just to split them and have best of one and best of three ladders, but splitting the player base is never a good idea usually, so. Whiffing is good. It means we got rid of bad cards. All right, well, you know what time it is? Yeah. It's Elvish Spirit Guide time. Let's go. In the true spirit of any stupid Chalice of the Void Blood Moon deck, we have no way to win, so we're just going to cast our Spirit Guides and kill our opponent. We're going to lay out an army of Grey Ogres here. Elvish Spirit Guide, too powerful! That was fun. It's a good, fun match of magic there. I imagine a lot of our matches are going to go like that. I've always said that the Blood Moon, Trinisphere decks, Chalice decks, like... You could literally just put grizzly bears in them because it doesn't really matter. You're going to lock your opponent out or not for the most part. Unlimited power. Just powerful elf, you know? Elvish, spirit, it's a guide. It is a spirit, right? They changed it. Elf spirit, monkey spirit. Okay. While we're waiting here, we're going to have a little bit longer than wait times than usual because it's legacy. Everyone hop on to Twitter, right? Twitter. Follow me. And also, you might want a box of Ultimate Masters. I know you do. Who wouldn't? It's a box topper. Also, you get one of those binders I just showed you, as well as a pack of BCW Deck Art Elite sleeves. Want to win this? Hop on over, first follow me on Twitter, then go follow Team BCW and retweet this tweet for your chance to win. That's right, we're giving away an entire box of Older Masters. Alright? Don't be shy. Hit that retweet. You gotta follow Team BCW also. Alright? Complete box of Ultimate Masters, box topper, the binder you just saw, and sleeves. Alright? Cool. Team BCW, and if you missed the announcement, we got two new members, that's right. We'd love to welcome Dylan Hand and returning players champ Joe Lissette to the team with Ross Tannen and myself returning. And then uh, Brendan DeCandio's on kind of like a, a paternity leave or whatever. Um, he's obviously just had a kid and stuff, so life's pretty busy. He may rejoin us in the second half of the year. And he's still he's still hanging out with the team. He's still an honorary member, but not officially on the roster until maybe next year. So that's our new members. Check it out. Um, now, if two players champs on the team of the three... And we missed our match. God damn it. 
And um, so make sure you follow and uh, enter that contest because I would love to see you win. Can people outside the U.S. win the UMA box? I think so. But I believe the box is going to be opened, but what it's going to be opened on a video, so you will see all the cards that are open. So it's not like they're going to open it and cherry pick it, but it's for a promotional video, and then the cards are delivered to you. Once the back, once the cards are opened, I believe there are no issues as far as shipping internationally. But I'm not sure. Comment on my tweet and double check. All right. Oh boy, these hands have been uh, a little wild. A little wild. We're going to mulligan this one. Okay, that's a little better. We're going to keep. We're going to bottom. So once again, we are going to go Misty Rainforest Go, because we are playing Delver of Secrets and Friends. What's up, Dash? Thank you, my friend. If you like the article today, please... Comment on it, retweet it, Goblin Guide. This be the F something 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 F L A S F L O O D Flash Flood. That was a, that was something else. Ooh, City of Traders. Uh oh. Fortunately, our blood moon is really bad here, but um. All right. So what do we do now? What do we do now? What's on our sideboard for a living wish here? Anything useful? Reclamation Sage. Not much. Vintage Cube, after this league, I guess. Um, I mean, you could just cast Food Chain on turn two here. Ancient Tomb. Then we just draw a Squee or a Mana Source and win the game. Alright. I'm going to get a Forest. Play food chain. One, two, three, four, five. So if we draw, if we draw squee or a win condition next turn, we win. Mana flood warning. Top card, elvish spirit guide. Okay, 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 okay. You don't need a ballista on the board to wish for because we have an ember cool on the board. Idolon's tough. Eidolon can't actually beat an Eidolon. Okay, um, we can. Uh, we can. I guess we can Living Wish for a, 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 a what's it called? Reclamation Sage. That is bad. Eidolon's tough. All right. Get these Spirit Guides and stuff too. So it's not good. It's not good. But we will do. It must be done. All right, just took four for that, no big deal. All right, I mean, now we need to draw a lot of stuff, unfortunately. We had to waste our, one of our combo pieces to uh, deal with the idol on, which we obviously can't beat. Yeah, price probably gonna say what? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, goblins for every boy. Alright, top card, another elvish spirit cut. Alright, we are going to block. Don't play another idol on Lava Spike. Fetch. Or probably dead. Yeah, I don't want to see stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna have an Elvish Spirit Guide. Alright. Alright. 
Um, yeah, Eidolon's stuff. Eidolon's a, a hard, hard counter to our, what we're trying to do here. We got Cyborg a little bit. Uh, Blood Moon's probably got to go. Yeah, Magus the Moon, also not very good. Uh, a Braids can come in. Maybe we just main deck some of this stuff. I mean, we gotta bring in cards that aren't Blood Moons, because our Blood Moons are dead. Um, Thanks for the Christmas card, Jim and fam. Peace Bone! 11 months resub. Show some love in chat, my friends. Of course, my friend. We sent out Christmas cards to uh, all of our subs, which, um, you know, applied for one. Uh, 96 in total, so you're all great. Thank you so much. Um, that was uh, announced on the Discord. If you're a new sub, check out the Discord chat server. If you're not a sub, hit that sub button. Best way to support me as a Magic player and as a streamer is my full-time gig. This is what I do. How I pay the bills. So your support makes this possible. And thank you very much. I love you all. I guess Vexing Shusher. <laughs> Just... I mean, anything's better than Blood Moon. So... I mean, I have three answers. I usually have Ballista, too, for, uh, for Magus. I mean, Trinosphere is good. Nice early Trinosphere. Chalice is obviously good, too, so... Probably be alright here. What do you think, Burnsy? Up, oh, he's sleeping again. Lazy Burnsy is sleeping again. We could library. I think Shusher is probably just better. Just like, there's a bear who can block stuff. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Choke is better than Blood Moon. Um, it's debatable. It's debatable. Not opponent, you're playing Burn. Cyborg, let's go. We got squeeze the cast. People to see. Uh, food chain, squee. All right. I mean, we're. We're rolled up here, mostly. We're gonna keep. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose we just have a turn three kill, right? Barring no, uh, what's it called? Ilon. Dragon, go, article goes up on Monday. Monday's article in the future. So hop in your time machine and uh, get it done. It's your tigers in our deck, right? Yeah. I probably should with the Misty, whatever. All right. I mean, nope. Do, 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 do. Advantage over Squee over Eternal Scourge. Uh, we're playing Commune with the Gods, which puts the Squee in the graveyard sometimes. No Eidolon. So they, they have Eidolon. We can like play a Ballista for a certain amount and then shoot it and then keep going, right? Always have it. All right. Um, speak of a devil. I was just watching one of your YouTube videos and then realized you were Liv. Jimdo MD. I love being Liv. I am Liv. All right. So we squee. Take two. The question is, can we do it enough times and not that a fire blast? Wise men say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. You get one mana each time.
now he can cast Ballista for two. Goes down to three mana. All right, six, five, four, three, two. I suppose if they fire blast, fire blast the ballista, we can't win. So that's an option too. If they have fire blast, we can't win. Whatever. And the way they're pausing, I feel like they have fire blast. Oh wait, you can't use the mana on the ballista. Uh. So in which case we needed to make mana. Make two more mana, which would require two more cycles. It would have been at four. I might, I might just punted. Ugh. I'm an idiot. I punted. All right. I never, I never occurs to me that you can only use food chain mana for um. For only creatures and stuff. Like, yeah, obviously, this is, is, is a creature, but it's an ability, not the actual creature. Um, I mean, I guess we just, like, say go and kill the Eidolon and hope we win next turn. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm an idiot. It's a bad Duffy. Infinite mana doesn't do anything. We have infinite mana and then what? We can't use it for anything. So we need to just say go. We were probably dead. So yeah, we punted. All right, I'm stupid. If we don't die next turn, we have a chance to win with our community of the gods, but we are probably gonna die because they have three lands and five cards in end. Thanks for following, everyone. I'm dumb. I believe this is my first time ever casting this card. What's up, San? How's it going, my friend? Opponent, please just kill me. Monoceratops, is this deck more consistent? Probably not, but it's sweet. And this is a, was a user-submitted deck from Cryo MTG for winning the Survivor Football League prize. Phoenix or Drake's? Probably the Drake's deck. Just play Andrew Jessup's deck from the Invitational. Pyrostatic Pillar. All right, now we can't win. You win. All right, opponent, you win. You get it. Fine. I screwed up. I deserve it. We punted. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm dumb. You're all smart. You're all good looking. I am not attractive, etc., etc. Oh, Simon, that ended. That ended like week eight or week nine or whatever. It's a little bit of a delay, you know. You blow it. I'm dumb. Throw stuff at me. All right. So we probably could have won that game um, if I had pumped more mana into the, into the ballista. We only needed. Oh no, we actually no, we couldn't win because we couldn't pump the ballista. We couldn't have won. We, 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 we could not win. The only way to win that game was to... Our combo involves casting Squee like 30 times or whatever, or 40 times, to make the Ballista big naturally. So we, we actually... I did not punt. We had no way to win. There's no way to win. There was no way to cast Ballista big enough to kill the Eidolon and kill them. And once we cast it and kill the Eidolon, we can no longer pump it no matter what. So... It was not a punt... I am smart. You are, you are all not attractive. I am good looking, etc. We're on the draw. Turn to Blood Moon. Unpunt. Yes, unpunt. Let's go. I am unpunting myself. The punt has been undone. I don't want to hear it from y'all. So we, we could not win either way. We're dead. Chancellor of the Annex has been revealed.
Is it a punt when you blow a game because you're bad rather than because you couldn't win? Um, no punt there. Nope, nope, nope. Just because I, I didn't know what I was doing doesn't mean that, uh, ooh, what's this? They're going to move to end step and discard. Ooh. They chose to draw. I didn't notice that. All right, so they're dredging. We have no Bajuka Bog in our sideboard, do we? No. Um... So, they're playing Mano with Stretch. We... Blood Moon not doing much here, obviously. Um... Our next spell is countered. Our sideboard cards don't really matter. We uh, just got to draw food chain, I guess. I guess we can like cast Squee next turn just to get rid of the Chancellor effect. The Spirit Guide too doesn't really matter. All right, I guess we just say go. There's nothing to nothing to to wish for at the moment. Let's play Blood Moon Stompy. Play against Burn. Play against Manalist Dredge. Yeah. All right. So they discard Nether Shadow. Shambling Shell. Shell. Do it again. A lot with Giant. Icarid. Chancel. Okay. You do your thing. All right. Just do your dredgy stuff. Dread Shadow, Grave Troll, Dread Return. This deck doesn't seem very good. <laughs> They're just going to dredge three every turn? I guess they hit, they hit a Grave Troll, I guess, but... Taiga. Next turn they dredge six, get back Icarid, maybe. They're not really doing much, honestly. Like, we, uh... We just play Squee, I guess? We win next turn, we draw, we draw the thing, so, or right, whatever. There's only two Tigers in the deck. I screwed up. We have a forest in our hand. God. This time I punted. This time you may you may punt me in chat, please. Oh, we're far. oh I'm sorry. I, I had it backwards. Only one mountain in the deck. Whew. I got terrified there for a second. I thought I was really stupid. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. There's our squeak. We're good. We're good. Unpunt. Unpunt again. I didn't punt. We're fine. It's the, the stream of unpunts. Unpunt. Alright. Icarid. Re unpunt. They hit bridge. Bridge. Okay. Realistically, none, nothing really matters but Cabal Therapy or us dying. So, we're just trying to draw... What's it called? Um, food Chain. All 
All right. Food chain. Promox. I mean, again, nothing to really wish for. Yeah, we're just trying to draw food chain. It's really as simple as that. I hope we don't die in the process. Um, I could just... Uh, casting Blood Moon's done. I can just Chromox the Blood Moon at this point, so... Alright. Uh, I guess we could, like, Living Wish for Emrakul, specifically. So, if we draw Food Chain... Or if I have to, like, commune with the gods into Food Chain... But then I have... Right now I have Commune, Living Wish... Yeah, we don't, we don't even need it. Alright. You don't have, you don't need a Blister to wish for, because we already have a uh, Emrakul in the sideboard. So... I guess they do beat Emrakul. Well, I can't... It's not in the sideboard. I can't change that, so... Can't wish for a food chain. It's not a... Not a creature or a land. Yeah, I guess they beat Emrakul, don't they? Well, I can't change it now, so... <laughs> they have Dread Return for Chancellor of the Annex. I guess we're just dead. Yeah, I don't think we really do anything. Emrakul, Saxon. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, I did. I did cut the Grawl Rage Beast. I guess I'm stupid. If I hadn't cut the Grawl Rage Beast, we'd be fine. All right, well, we're dead anyway. All right, I mean, we're not really playing any brainstorms or anything, so I suppose finding our food chain is not always going to be easy. Um, maybe we're gonna maybe we'll swap a Ballista into the board to solve this Emrakul problem, and we'll bring in our four Ley Lines, cut our four Blood Moons again because our opponent has no lands in their deck, um, and we'll cut the Magus of the Moons. And don't, don't they like board in a land or something? Some water, sure, good idea. I need to add two more cards. Uh, so leave it a Magus the Moon. And we're bringing... I don't know. A land, I guess. Sure. No. A braid? Sure. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Top minus three card. I mean, a braid doesn't really do anything. Like, killing no creatures is almost irrelevant. Uh, turn one, Trinisphere. That's, like, good and bad against them. They can't cast spells. They can still dredge and stuff. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna mulligan it. But. Ballista does get rid of bridges. It is true. Well, the problem is that every match we've played so far, our Blood Moons don't do anything. And we're literally a Blood Moon deck. We have six Blood Moons in our deck. So, like, you know, if, uh, our blood moons aren't good, then things aren't great. I guess I should have chosen to draw. I'm stupid. Yeah, I should. I was supposed to choose to draw. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously. That's a punt. No unpunt there. That was me being stupid. Alright, they discard a bunch of stuff. What's up, Riz? You play because I'm stupid. I'm, I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm... When you stream, you play on autopilot for 90% of the time because you're trying to talk to chat and talk and stuff. So when you see player draw, you just hit play. Alright, they have an Icarid. They have no bridges. Chalice the... 
<laughs> they don't want to cast any spells. None of these cards do anything. Uh, we can't cast the Ballista because then we can't kill him with Food Chain, so... Ugh. Unreal. Unreal. Narc Amoeba, another Amalgam? Yeah, we're probably dead now. Monoceratops, you're a resub. You've been here before, right? Name sounds familiar. Welcome, my friend. And then Bridge, double Amalgam. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, whatever. All right. I mean, that obviously wasn't very fun. Unsurprisingly, our Blood Moon deck is not good against mono red decks or decks with no lands in them. We'll try again. We'll try again. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. This is a pseudo donation bonus league. This was a prize for Cryo MTG for winning the. Stream Survivor Football League. I spelled Survivor wrong. I did, didn't I? You guys don't even proofread me. Unbelievable. Man, once it gets to the, gets to the holidays, everything just falls apart, you know? Just absolute chaos at all times. All right, let's go. Oh, we'll take for some more legacy after this. I'm playing cube. It's holidays. Life's chaos. I'm cubing. I guess we keep. The problem is like. If we turn to Blood Moon, we can't get a forest. Oh. What was it, a mulligan? Okay. Sure. Okay. Monoceratops is Josh playing Maddox and Scars. Favorite card is Lingering Souls. Puppy name is Bert. Our favorite deck is Birthing Pod from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Puppy name Karn. I like it. Ah, oh, we're playing against Tron. Makes sense. What's up, Goober? Cloud post, close enough. Well, we have Blood Moon. We we got we got to get Blood Moon matchup here at least. Probably never draw Blood Moon, but it's not a good Trinisphere matchup, that's for sure. Um. Yes, Karn is definitely the front runner for puppy name. Maybe I just cast Commune. Just go for Blood Moon. Like. Trinisphere probably doesn't matter at all. Look at that. We put a squee in our graveyard. How do you like them apples? Is it on? No, it's not on. We can't cast anything. <laughs> we can cast Food Chain. We can't cast Squee. If it was an Eternal Scourge, then we can kill him. But it's not. 
So I think we are just playing the Blood Moon. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'll go. Blood Moon. We'll get him next turn. Basic Forest, you got it. Look at that. Double City Traders in play. Got him next turn. We're getting him next. Oh, I don't have any green now. <laughs> this is the worst mana base of all time. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Elvish Rejuvenator. Okay. Man, this has been a sloppy league. So now we need to draw. We have four forests and four Elvish Spirit Guides. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should just play Food Chain. Um, I mean, like, they might have cast, like, something ridiculous the following turn. Yeah, I, 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 I screwed up. If I cast Food Chain, then City, then, city, then Blood Moon, yeah, I'm, I'm just an idiot. All right. Uh, I'm just so stupid. Okay. <sighs> Double Lord Dragon. Maze of Ith now taps for mana. Here's through the breach. We're dead. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right. <sighs> Finally find what's probably a good matchup, and uh, we punt and lose. So let's try again, I guess. Uh, I don't think a braid does much. I don't think I want anything, honestly. We actually punted that time. I can't unpunt that one. That was that was really bad. Oh. Oh. No blood moon. No anything really. The the but those first two punts weren't punts. So it, we made a big fuss about it, but they weren't actually punts. So we're only on like two punts right now. All right. Oh, come on. They have through the breach too, so our blood moons aren't even that good. I'm just gonna go to five and look for a blood moon. All right. Cloud Post. Spirit Guide. Alright, well, it's not Blood Moon, but uh, I guess it's something. Trinisphere. Blood Moon. Squee the Immortal. And if I want to fetch a forest, I can't even cast it. I guess Spirit Guide. The Mad Hammer's deck is pretty tough. Um, not going to sugarcoat it. The Mad here is pretty rough. Alright, Squee the Immortal. Ready to go. Ready to battle. Here we go.
So they only have seven mana here on turn three. Oh my god. Ice Trinosphere. Idiot. Oh, look, another land. Alright, cool. Can't actually cast Ballista, because if we cast it, we can't win the game with it. So, I mean, if we draw Food Chain next turn, we win, right? So, that's cool. She's just played a Spirit Guide, too, right? Just wait longer. I'm sure they're going to play some ridiculous thing next turn. Food Chain, please. I mean, it could be worse, right? Again, this is the, the path to victory in most Blood Moon decks. You just play a Blood Moon and play crappy creatures and kill your opponent. Sure. Ugly Eye of Ugin, Ugly Eye of Ugin gets a Worm Coil engine. That's fine. We don't, we don't really care about Worm Coil, so we're going to draw the uh, the food chain and just kill them. So, they play Worm Coil. No, yes, no, yes. Okay, that's fine. Food chain. Show me Blood Moon. Food chain. It's that easy. It's that easy. Hammer don't hurt him. Punishing fire, targeting squee. That doesn't matter, right? As long as the spirit guys in play, we're fine. Make some red. There's a little exile pile. Oh, graveyard. It's in the graveyard. Cast Swee! Make a million mana. They're gonna make me do it, aren't they? I should just cast a damn thing instead of asking me about it. Where's chat? Can't chat anymore? I'm gonna like message them. Goblin Lackey. Reveal Ham would be nice. Thanks for following, everyone. I did it was like, I did it was what? A million times? 46 times, right? Well, while I'm sitting here doing this incessantly repetitive activity, I'm going to remind everyone to hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com and check out my article, CoolStuffInc.com, your number one spot for all of your gaming needs. Of course, they have uh, magic cards and magic stuff. They also have uh, other board games and supplies and all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, naturally, because it's in the name. And... Um, you can use my promo code JIM5 for 5% off of your order. That's good for magic cards, board games, supplies, everything I just said. Except for gift cards. I'll be giving away a gift card for CoolStuffInc.com later in the stream. In fact, I might just start that right now, actually, while we're waiting. Giveaway time!
There you go. End of a contest while I do this. Coolstuffinc.com. I don't edit my videos for YouTube. What do you think this is? I don't know how to do that. I don't have the technology to do that. Type coolstuffinc.com in your chat bar to, uh, to enter the contest. If you're watching on YouTube, sorry folks, you want to win contests, you got to do it on the stream. So make sure you come in and check out a live stream at some point by following me on Twitch. And uh, rules for the contest are you must follow Cool Stuff Inc., myself, and Team BCW on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, go make one. It's free, it's not an excuse. And if you don't want to win, then don't win. Don't feel stupid when you win and I ask you about Twitter and you're not following and I give it to someone else. All right, so you're going to feel really dumb. So uh, make sure you follow that. Obviously, you must also follow the stream. CoolStuffInc.com. Also put CoolStuffInc.com in your browser window for great shopping and my articles. Written article today all about Arena and uh, the future of Magic and why it's awesome and things of that nature. And this is really tedious. Um, what else to talk about? Team BCW is all geared up for 2019. Uh, Ross, Tannen, and I will be the returning members of the team. And we have adding two new members. We're adding Dylan Hand, who's a young gun. Had a very good year last year on the SG Tour. We're happy to welcome, oh, welcome, in, welcome in some new blood. And then some old blood as well in Joe Asset, the reigning players champion. That is correct. So Joe and Dylan will be joining the team, uh, joining Ross, Tannen, and myself. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll be at most of the events next year doing the usual stuff, our BCW challenges before events, and things of that nature. We're also giving away an entire box of Ultimate Masters on the Team BCW Twitters. So after you follow that, make sure you hop on there and retweet that tweet for your chance to win. I would love to see one of my stream people win the Ultimate Masters box. All right? So do that. And uh, that's cool. Um... Also on BCW supplies, obviously their supplies are insane. You can go on and buy some. Uh, use my promo code Jim10 for 10% off your order. BCW Deck Guard Elite sleeves and uh, and deck lockers and awesome uh, folio binders and everything. It's really really cool. Let's check it out. Are we done yet? Almost. We need 46 mana. I mean, our opponent doesn't know we have the ballista in our hand. I told them that. They don't have to believe me. You know, like, I mean, we're like both 2-2 in a legacy league. If they really think we're going to lie about it, that's like pretty ridiculous. Like, if I'm actually long conning my opponent here by sitting here and doing this till I have 46 mana and hoping they concede, and then if I didn't actually have it, I just have to concede and say go, like, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of time wasted for a few play points, you know? I'm not going to clock. We have 13 minutes left. It's 46, 23. What's up, Copo? Milan, cool. All right, 23. Not good enough for you? Get a scoop now? No? Light him up. Upstairs. Upstairs. Hey Santa, hey Santa, we did it, we combo killed, let's get him, let's right, so leave this up on the screen for you folks to enter the contest, at the end of the league we're going to do this drawing, you must be present to win also, obviously, if you're not here then you can't win. What is this deck? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. This is a um, basically a donation bonus league for um, 
for Cryo MTG. Cryo MTG won the the Survivor Football League, and part of the prize was a donation bonus league. Um, if we had a red source or two and could actually ask Squee, I'd be interested in this hand maybe. But turn one, turn two, Chalice on the draw seems to on the play it'd be fine. But what's Mulligan? Okay. We can cast Squee out from under the Chromox, but then the Chromox doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> We're going to keep the top card Ballista. Um, <laughs> I guess bottom? Cloud Post. Ancient Doom. I guess we do it, right? Because we can just get it back later anyway, so... This is a funny interaction. Alright. Blued Moon. Ah, uh, we're 1 and 2. We've played against our Blood Moon deck so far. It's played against Manalus, Dredge, and Burn. So our Blood Moons have not been very good, uh, to say the least. Let me just bottom that. Alright, we can't cast the Ballista because it need, needs to be in our hand to combo. So we'll just say go. I guess we gotta cast the Squee there and start attacking. Yeah, I probably should cast Squee. We lose the mana from the Squee, but we don't really need it at this point. I guess we have no green either, but triple cloud post. Natural triple cloud post. Chalice of the Void. I mean, I guess we cast Chalice on one, I guess? I don't even know. Sure. There's a usual your usual Blood Moon deck. Play Blood Moon, no one can do anything. Play Chalice, no one can do anything. Sit here and do nothing. And then we should turn five through the breach us probably. Bear. And land through the breach and we're dead. No. In fact, I should prop probably play... Does Recruiter help us? What does Recruiter get? I don't think that... We don't have any way to find our, our food chain. We can't even cast food chain. You should probably Recruiter for um uh, an Elvish Spirit Guide, actually. So we can cast food chain if we draw it. I'm going to cast this Chromox um, just for nothing. So if they, if they annihilate us, just one, one more thing to sacrifice. Or I could just exile the, the Spirit Guide. No, nah, let's hold it. We're only going to need one shot at it. So so if they, th if they threw the Breach us, we can sacrifice like Chromox, Chalice, Recruiter, Magus, Land or something. Sarcasto, new sub. Sarcasto, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright, I mean... I guess we can... Living Wish? No, we can't. Without wasting our spirit guide, Living Wish would get us... Nothing really useful, so just say go. Oh god, here it comes. All is dust. Uh Alright, that's a problem. Oh, I could have cast Squee there, yeah. Well now we're in interesting shape. That was lucky. Okay, so what's um Seriously, I think thanks, Zero. Let's uh fetch a forest, I guess now. We'll just play Magus the Moon and say go. I guess Living Wish too. What would we Living Wish for? Nothing's really like. You could just get Eternal Score to try and kill them. Nothing else really does anything. We already have our win condition. Um, yeah. I 
I mean, they can kind of just cast stuff at this point. They do have seven lands in play. That's eight. Can I get a library? Oh my god. Alright, that is an Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Their lands are free again. This has to be a... I don't think Food Chain... Food Chain does do it. It's gotta be a Food Chain. Not quite. Not quite. Um, I don't think we have any outs anymore. So we draw food chain, we can't cast anything, but... That's an Elder Spirit cut. Okay. How about Eternal Scourge? Your turn. You only have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You only have 17 mana and an Ugin. We're probably fine here, right? Okay, make that uh, some uncountable amount of mana. Crude Savagery. Happy holidays, my friend. Prime Evil Titan. Okay. I feel like we're already playing our cube draft at this point. Like, our opponent's deck is basically a cube draft deck, right? Alright, you gain some life. Thought not seer, that's the game. Now we can't win next turn with a good draw. We could have drawn food chain again, we would have won. But that is no longer the case. We're definitely drawing food chain too. Nope, just Simeon Spear, good. Alright, we are dead. That was a tough one. Never drew food chain. What are you gonna do? You know? Alright, we are um We are one in three. Although, again, two of them were tough. They were no land decks or all mountain decks. But, yeah, it basically feels like cube, right? Everyone, remember, hop on and uh, type coolstuffinc.com in chat for your chance to win. Reminder, my new article is up on Cool Stuff Inc. It's an important one. Magic Arena, eSports, and the future. Hop on and uh, comment. Don't be shy. It's obviously a pretty uh, hot topic. So, hop on there, comment. And let me know what you think. And, um, yeah. Also follow on Twitter. My goal is 10,000 followers for the year. It looks like we're going to fall short. But we'll see. And go follow BCW because if you want to win an Eternal Masters box, you can retweet this tweet for your chance to win. All right. Cool. Cool. Capiche. Cool. Comments. Still Facebook comments. Yes. Available for a deck tech? Yeah, sure. Ten bucks. Ten buckaroos. Of course, if you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Happy holidays. Yeah, I am really tired today. I was up late recording my cool stuff video last night. I was up early yesterday writing that article. Streamed in the middle. We had our last, um, our last hockey club that me and Nicole run at John's school. It's like six kids, it's like floor hockey or whatever. And uh, I told the kids that at the end of every club, there was like eight of them, we were playing in a basketball court. And I was like, if I can flip up the ball with a hockey stick and shoot it into a basketball hoop, I'll buy everyone ice cream at the end of the year. So every every club I would take, at the very, we would end the club with me taking an ice cream shot. And I missed every single one. And then yesterday night, I actually, we were, I was waiting for everyone to set up, so I was practicing, and I made one during practice. And the kids, like, freaked out, obviously, because they are like, you made it, you made it! I'm like, nope, it doesn't count. And then, um, took my ice cream shot at the end, and I missed it, but I said that it went in, so we all got ice cream. Okay. Food Chain, Ballista, Magus the Moon. This is all fine, I guess. On the draw. Ice cream shot. A tan tan ice cream. Any arena arena advice that's good for best of one? Um, I would say that proactive strategies are probably better in best of one. You could obviously game that though, so I'm not really sure. I have not played best of one yet. I'm considering doing a series called Bronze to Mythic, where I play best of one and rank up from bronze to mythic. 
If that interests you, let me know in chat, because I might be doing that. All right, so we can't really cast anything. So, they have an island. It's not necessarily a good Blood Moon matchup. We will... The problem is once we Blood Moon, we can't cast Food Chain. We have these Spirit Guides, but... All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start that this, this this weekend, I think. Alright. I mean, we're going to Blood Moon, I guess. Or Magus of the Moon, I mean. It's kind of awkward, but... Daze me. I'm not playing dates, they have Island of Murder Deck. Yeah, so if you're playing best of one, playing like Turbo Fog or some sort of deck that's super linear that usually loses to sideboard cards is obviously a good idea. Um, part of why best of one's kind of eh. Alright, I mean, they have uh, two basic lands. What deck would I play in Arena? I always play various decks, honestly. Someone suggested that I just, like, make a new account and free-to-play, try and free-to-play up to Mythic. Um, that sounds interesting, but the problem is that I would have an account that I can't use, so I would just have two accounts. Um, I think that's a cool idea. It would take a while, though. Um, Baleful Strix? Alright. I mean, so they're playing like Force of Will and stuff, probably. That's really, really bad for us. Chromox. Chromox isn't bad. Food chain. No force of will, please. Spell pierce a well. Looks like uh, I've got two mana. Thanks for playing. If force of will too, God you. Well, you probably can't win, so. What are everyone's thoughts on um, starting a new account and going free to play from Bronze to Mythic? In Tomb? What? In Tomb for Deep Analysis? What year is it? Are flimsy combos good in Legacy? Yes or no? What kind of Living Wish for here? I guess I have Vexing Shusher. I guess I could have, like, wished for Shusher and played it more slowly, but... Right, it would take a long time, probably. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm bad. Maybe I should just, like, take my time and gotten the Shusher. Problem is, like, we don't even have... No, I'm sorry. I, I, I need to save the wish for the Eternal Scourge, obviously. Because otherwise I don't actually have a combo. So, 
We'll get Shusher now, I guess. And I mean, we're just, we just don't have enough things to do. Like, it's a three-card combo in a Force of Will format, realistically. Hi, Slacker. Right, I think the free-to-play thing would just take too long. I mean, I assume they have removal on their deck, so Bliss is not going to go coast-to-coast -coast here. Goblin. About to pick his nose. Or her nose. Yeah. Collective Brutality discarding Grave Titan. Okay. Chalice of the Void. Shh. Oh, I get it. Shh. I get it. I get it. Remember, this giveaway is uh, at the end of this match. So, Jace the Mind Sculptor. They bottomed. I actually have bottomable cards here. <sighs> this is decidedly miserable. Twitch Rivals is part of Twitch's Twitch's esports program, yes. We're not gonna ballista yet. We're setting up for ballista, ping this, attack Jace for four, ping, ping Jace. Wow, these collective brutalities are insane. Alright. Um free the beast here. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Um, all right. Probably just can't ever win. Just cast a big ballista here. Hope it does something useful. Probably won't. Now what? Diabolic Edict. Thanks for following my friends. Nah, crown. No, don't be don't be sorry. It's all my opponent's fault for being playing rude cards. Not and countering our combo, you know? If they just didn't counter our combo, we would have won. How rude of them. Crow, you earned this. You survived everybody in the football league somehow. Three cards in end. Hopefully they're all brainstorms. Probably not likely, but man, it is gross outside. It's just like that's like a snowy mix. There's mud. It's really gross out there. Up, oh, animate that on Grave Titan. Okay, we can't win. 
All right. We get to choke him. Sweet. Everyone loves a good choke, right? They do have a lot of uh, basic lands, so we're going to chill on the Magus of the Moons, bring in the chokes. Uh, bring in like one Shusher and then one to wish for, probably. Eh, just bring in both. Sylvan Library's cool. They just cut all the Blood Moons, actually. They're just going to fetch up their basics anyway, so. And, uh, Caracas. I mean, I can't bring in Leon to the Void for like a couple. A couple, um, a couple reanimates or whatever. There's like this weird mid-range reanimator-y something or other deck. I'll leave in one to search for. Yeah, I can't bring a Leyline for that. All right, whatever. Let's go. Come on, food chain. Let's go. Let's finish strong here. Uh, I mean, it's turn one, chalice on one. I guess we keep this. Just get him. Crocus stays in the sideboard for uh, for wishes. I would prefer it if they force it well with that. Let's cast another one next turn. But. They're not really a reanimator. They're more of like a fair deck. They're like a, they're like a halfway between kind of deck. Double Ancient Tomb. So again, I just like can't cast Ballista. Or they, um. Then I can't use it to wait. I have a Recruiter already. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, whatever. Crank it. Let's do it. Go Ballista. Welcome aboard. Squee looking a little uncastable at the moment. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, share that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. That's hella rude. Alright. I mean... Not gonna do anything with it. Alright, well, I guess we'll just say go, because we can't play any more zero amount of artifacts. Didn't pump because I was hoping they would pop this in combat. We can cast another chalice. Do I take four to deal them one? I don't think so. Yeah. Um I suppose if we draw a food chain and they have nothing, we can win next turn. C2, sounds good, my friend. Thank you. This game is probably going to be over soon, so I'll enter this contest right now. All right? Living Wish. 
I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a something and a something I would call her. Have you considered queuing into opponents that are a little less rude? That'd be nice. Um, I mean, we have no red mana here. We can't get squee. We, uh... Get Living Wish for essentially nothing. Hey, there you go. Tomb. For deep analysis. It's like the worst divination of all time. It's literally three mana for divination, and you also lose three life. They're at eight. Maybe I should start casting spirit guides or something. Ever cool is to wish for when you have infinite mana. That's pretty uncastable. Um, I guess I can mox the Shusher, and my mox would tap for both colors, thereby allowing me to actually cast spells. Sure. I guess Wishing for Scourge also plays. We still mox the Shusher, though. Look at that. Dual land chrome box. How do you like me now? Yeah, I want to use the ability. Third freaking eight. Let's just kill him. Is this food chain? You wouldn't know it by watching, but yes. All right, we'll shrink this down a little bit. Now that we're actually sort of playing this game. They're at seven. Maybe they're playing shadows too. What is their deck? Their deck is awesome. It's like Baleful Strix back to basic reanimate. All right, good thing we have this, uh, this Chrome box here. All right. Uh, Sylvan Library. Um. Maybe we spirit guide the library. I kind of want to just hold spirit guide for the 3-3. Three, three. B to B. Brainstorm. Remind everyone, you hop on that Twitter and make sure you follow me, Team BCW, and Cool Stuff because you cannot win this contest if you're not following. That would be embarrassing for you, so please don't be embarrassed live on the internet. That's my job. We don't drop when we're playing a league for someone, all right? They've earned the full league. Animate dead, targeting Imperial Recruiter. I feel like we're actually cubing. Like, we're going to be cubing immediately after this, but I feel like we're actually cubing right now. These last few matches have just been, like, things that would happen in a cube draft. They got Snapcaster Mage. Sure, why not? Go to six. Well, um, okay. Your turn. If 
Cut against Jeskai control? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, CJ. I have to look at the list and stuff. I'm not really looking at it right now. No attack. All right. I mean, oh, it's got zero power to animate this. Um, I guess we could just like ask Squee, then we get to our tigers. Uh, our tigers out of commission. I guess you just say go. Like snap brainstorm here. If I had scores, they would just snap, push it, and then I couldn't cast it again. They're going to five. They have a lot of basics in their deck. Good lord. They're literally just a back to basics deck. Nice blood moons, idiot. If we cast scores that turn, they would have just pushed it. And we have no. We have no payoff for infinite mana and don't have a way to get it again either. So. What's up, Link? Not much more legacy. This is probably our last game. And then we're going to cube, but. Collective Brutality. Drain. Just straight drain. Not even duress, just drain. <laughs> Trinisphere, Squee the Immortal. I mean, I don't even know what we could possibly... I'm just done. We're dead. We're dead. It's over. We can maybe, maybe cast Food Chain, and then we can't cast anything else, and we're just taking some damage, and we're just dead. Alright, Trinisphere's in chat. Don't put me back, says Trinisphere. Alright, so everyone enter the contest. Um, obviously pretty amusing. Uh, I would not recommend playing this deck in a tournament if your plan is winning, but pretty fun, silly little deck. Unfortunately, the mana is really, really, really tough. It's a deck that wants to cast Blood Moon on turn one or two. And once you do that, you usually can't cast Food Chain, so pretty awkward, but, um, but pretty amusing. If you want to play, uh, if you want to play a Food Chain deck, you probably want to play the, uh, the Sultai one, but pretty fun. Cryo, again, congrats on your, um, on your victory in the, in the, uh, Survivor Football League, so congrats. And um, YouTube, that's going to do it. The stream will continue, the YouTube will not. So YouTube, make sure you sub the channel. And I uh, will see you fine folks soon, YouTubers. Bye, YouTube. And again, if you want to win cool contests like on the stream, YouTubers, you got to come visit the stream. All right, twitch.tv slash Jim Davis MTG. Bye, YouTube. Drawing's going to be 